up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is maddie i post new videos every sunday so as you can see by the title of this i am going to be doing my sunday routine um obviously right now circumstances are a little bit different but it's, this isn't going to vary too far off of what i do on a normal sunday um i thought it'd be nice to show you guys what i'm doing during this time and um just my ways i'm staying productive and still kind of having like a normalcy so I need to make some like breakfast, lunch, brunch right now. It's about um, almost 11. And then I'm going to run to the grocery store very quickly to get what I need for the week. Um, and then I'm also gonna show you guys how I plan my meals. Um, and I'm thinking about cleaning out my closet. I think I'm gonna do like a HIIT workout. Um, and yeah, I'll see what else I get up to, but I'll take you guys along with me. If you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel, new videos every Sunday, and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, super, super random lunch, but honestly, one upside to always being home is I love having leftovers for lunch. Um, so I just had some leftover veggies that I made a couple nights ago, and then some leftover gnocchi that um, was a gorgonzola gnocchi from Trader Joe's, and then I had like pancetta and peas in it. It was so good. Um, and yeah, oh, and then I've been loving um, Spindrift. So it's a sparkling water, but there's like real squeezed fruit in it, and one can of them is only 17 calories. So this is what I will be eating. Okay, so I just put on some gym clothes and I'm gonna go in our little guest room, which I don't think I've ever even showed this before, but it's kind of just like Ryan's office that he uses slash where we put a piece of furniture that we don't really have a use for right now, but like I know I'm still gonna want it when we move into a house or something. Here, I'll show you guys. Um, this thing, so like cool furniture and then this chair that we moved in here and then I don't think I've ever mentioned, but Ryan works from home and so we just have like a bunch of random stuff in here, but we pretty much use it as like a workout space right now. Captain, he say he spinning, what happened? What? He say he shooting, what happened? Who? You are not cuffing that fabric, laying that some traffic, I gotta have it. Back. If I don't got it, I snatch it, huh? This just the life of a savage. Back. Every day think about a casket, Back. cause life isn't what I imagined. I cannot fuck if she average, uh. She I gotta cushy the baddest. And we still running the stashes, niggas is fake, can't get no more passes. I am a guy with a message, yeah. That's on my grandmother ashes. Gang shit, man, look. And she fell in love with the graphics. Hello, you guys. Okay, so it's obviously been a little bit. After my little workout, I just went ahead and took a shower. And then I decided that I wanted to put on a little bit of makeup. Just make myself feel a little more normal. Like, making the bed, doing a little bit of makeup. Just, like, making myself feel, like, a little more like I'm in a normal routine. Um, but I want to show you guys just how I do my normal hair. So, I really only wash my hair, like, twice a week. Um, I love dry shampoo. The dry shampoo I use is the Batiste one for brunettes this one is for like a lighter brunette there's one that's like a little bit of a darker brown bottle and that one like when you spray it it just comes out straight up brown and so that way you don't have to worry about like the white powdery in your hair your hair is dark um but since i only wash my hair like twice a week i like for it to look good so that way when i'm putting dry shampoo in it and when it's like ponytail day or like half up day my hair at least looks like freshly blown out um, so what I do is sometimes, especially, I mean, if I'm going out on the weekends, I'll like wash it, blow dry it, do everything all at once. Um, but typically during the week, I'll take the, sh I'll take a shower at night, wash my hair. And then all I'll do is blow dry like these front two sections and on like, the top of my hair. So it dries normal and then just let the rest of it air dry. I obviously have a shit ton of hair. Um, so and then what i do the next day is since my hair is just naturally wavy it's pretty easy so all i do is just plug in my curling iron this one is i believe in a one and a fourth inch barrel curler and i just go through my hair and curl it so i'm going to show you guys how i do that and then that way it'll be good for the rest of the next three or four days that i have my hair so i'll just section my hair off i do like three or four layers and for these, I like to do curls like away from my face, just for like my everyday look. And so I'll start with a piece about this big. 
and then I'll just wrap this around my head and then curl it away from my face and then I try and get the ends pretty much as much as possible um, sometimes I'll leave the ends out but I want this one to just be a little more like of a classic look rather than like leaving the ends out if that makes sense and then I'm gonna let it out I try and hold it a little bit and then I drop it um, and the curl looks like that and then at the end I will run my fingers through it and it'll look a little less formal if you will okay so now that the first layer is done um i will just go in and like look at the ends so like this one's kind of like sticking out um and i'll just run it like all of it through with a curler and just make sure the ends are all like kind of in unison if that makes sense um because the end look is going to look more like a blowout than like curly so you know we'll see okay so i'm gonna do the next layers Now that it's all curled, I'm gonna take out the rest of it. And it just looks like this. It's just like, it's done, but it's not like perfect, you know? And so now what I do, just to give myself like a little more volume, is what I want. Yeah, this. So I go in with this Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. And you guys, this stuff is amazing, especially for day two hair. Um, and so I'll just spray it in the root and then just kind of like rub it in with my hair like the difference between this side and this side is nuts and the same thing lift up my roots and then just like that and then let me get and then I also use like a teasing brush. I don't like brush it with like a brush, at least the tops to keep it like volumized. And so just brush out the tops, a little knot right there. And then I'm just gonna run my hands through it. And then I'll just spray like a little bit of hairspray. And this is like the best hairspray ever. I know Jesse James Decker uses this and it's really good because it's extra strength, hold, and volume. But after you brush it out like the next day, it's like you never were had it's like you never had hairspray in your hair. So if you need a good hairspray, I tried this one. It is the L'Oreal Paris El Net Satin. So I'll just give it like a little spray. I don't do that much. And that's it. And then I actually am gonna do run like a brush through it a little bit. So now whenever I do ponytails and stuff, it'll just be like a lot prettier and like more put together. So yeah, that's how I do my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little snack. I'm about to go to the grocery store and I am gonna use this Kite Hill unsweetened plain almond milk yogurt. I get this either Sprouts or Whole Foods. And then I put it with this. It's the Toasted Oat Bake House. Yeah, soft granola. And it like tastes like cookie dough. I don't know, it's amazing. And so like, just the plainness of this, the sweetness of this is like the best snack ever. And it's non-dairy and so it doesn't hurt my stomach. And it's just a good little snack all around. Beautiful. You're off to the grocery store. Hold on. Okay, so I'm about to venture off to the grocery store um, really quickly. Run in and run out. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. It's right by us. And so basically, I'll walk you guys through the meals that I'm making this week. So what I do is actually let me show you guys my phone so what i do first is i think of the meals that i want to make for the week so tonight we're going to have pork tenderloin i have some carrots that i got these like multicolored carrots from trader joe's that i really want to make um and then we have some spinach i'm going to saute monday chicken salad or like i'm going to get chick we have chicken breast in the freezer and i'm going to make like a salad with it that i got from this instagram account brock your body she has really good recipes tuesday i'm going to do ground meat tacos um, corn with corn and like onions and bell peppers and then Wednesday we're gonna have leftover pork tenderloin Brussels sprouts sweet potato gnocchi because the pork tenderloin I make has like it comes with so much meat oh my gosh um and then for like lunches we'll do like 
omelets or tuna melts. I have like some canned tuna and then leftovers. So I pretty much just like plan out what we're going to eat for the week. And then I come up with all the ingredients and where I'm going to get them from. So like Trader Joe's, I have like the dried mango and then like a couple other things I want. And then I just like list off all the ingredients. So that makes it super easy to like, cause to visualize what your whole week looks like and then break down the ingredients. So that way you can reference back to it um and it's a good money saver too because a lot of these meats and these meals i'm gonna make already have in my freezer okay so i just got back and i actually got some really cool stuff like usually sometimes when i go it's kind of boring um ryan do you want to be my audience sure okay so um first i got flowers so beautiful that would be great and then actually let me move this there we'll do this bag first. Okay. That was my flowers. Right, is that exciting? This is a red bell pepper, I mean, a red onion and a yellow onion. Celery. Brussels sprouts. Egg whites. Crumbled feta. A cucumber. Wow. Uh, bell peppers, avocados. So that was like the not exciting bag. So now let's put them. Now I'm gonna move over here. I got English muffins and I was debating between the wheat and the regular one, but they have the exact same amount of calories and I was just like, why not? Why not? I got this veggies and greens oh, salad mix. That we never had before. <laughs> Uh, cherry tomatoes. So it's really isn't exciting yet, but oh. So I thought these calories were really bad, but then I looked at them and the serving size is actually three cones. Three cones is 260 calories, but one cone is only 85 calories. Okay. So that's why I got them. And I also got Moki. Okay. <laughs> um, guacamole. And then I was looking to get mustard. Um, today but then i found this aioli garlic mustard sauce so i opted for that instead so stay tuned for how that is um just a few bananas because last week we didn't really mm. eat them um silvered almonds slivered not silvered balsamic vinegar of modena Just mango slices, which in my opinion are the best ones. Liquid stevia, because I've been hating my coffee lately without a little bit of sweetness and it's calorie free. And roasted corn. So yeah, got a couple fun things and that is my haul. Okay, you guys, I am going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. New videos every Sunday, and I will see you next time. Bye.